Hey guys, it's me, X Mr. G Zex, and welcome back to more of Pokemon Red. And welcome to the bonus episode. Last time we took on the final boss and as you can see our Pokemon has not been healed. Apparently Professor O can put us in the Hall of Fame, but he most certainly can't heal our Pokemon. Oh no. Luckily, the game plays you right outside your mother's heart house, so you can go right ahead and... She, she works just like a Pokemon Center, so you can go right ahead and get healed right now. Yeah, take care now. So you're probably thinking, wait, you defeated the final boss, what else is there to do? Well, there's a couple things to do. As you can see, well, what we should be doing is flying to Cerulean City. You're probably asking, well, what's there at Cerulean City? Well, there's actually two things here. One of which is that I skipped out on a dungeon during the, our Let's Play. Actually, there's two dungeons that we need to take on. One of us was opened up when we defeated the Elite Four and the Champion. And there's also another dungeon that I just skipped altogether because it's really just out of the way and really you couldn't even access it when you, you got there in the first time. So anyways, now that we can fly and also access both dungeons, well, we might as well go on right ahead. Now, actually, as you remember, here is the dungeon right here. As I probably, I might have said before, but I remember there be. Do you remember the guy being out there that you know the cave makes him look like he's have a big afro real when it's really just the cave blending in with his hair? Well, he's gone now. He'll. If you talk to him earlier, he'll say that you're not able to access this place because there's many powerful Pokemon. But now that we're the champion, apparently we're above the law now. <laughs> you hear that? I'm above your law. You can't do anything about it. Which is why I'm gonna be walking right through these people home. Anyways, the dungeon should be quite near Rock Tunnel. So I think I'm going to meet you right to the Pokemon Center outside Rock Tunnel before I continue recording. So I'll meet you guys right there. Okay, here I am right outside Rock Tunnel. Before you, In order to access the gym, you got to have at least Surf. Luckily, I have Polly right here who knows Surf, so let's just go right ahead and take it on. What you need to do is just head up north and you'll see that little rubber right there. Well, that's where you need to go. So just go right here, go right ahead, Surf, and you can head down south. Now, I'm probably, as soon as I land, I'm probably gonna speed up this video. Actually, yes I am gonna speed up this video because as soon as this trainer, there's this one trainer, probably, this is going to be the last trainer battle. Huh, you thought the champion was the last trainer battle? Actually, I could skip them all together and just head up here as the power plant. But I'm just, but you know, know me, so I'm just going, well. If you know me, when it comes to playing Pokemon, I want to battle every single trainer I come across. So, as soon as I talk to him, let's go ahead and speed up in 3, 2, 1, let's go!
Alright, behold, this is what we came all the way here for. This Pokemon is Zapdos. I might as well display his stats right on the screen as long as well as the stats of the other birds. The legendary Pokemons in this game are hot are extremely powerful. They are actually very good Pokemon, but like I said before, I'm not going to capture any of these legendary birds. Also, as you can see, we step out here and get into a wild battle. Which we're all going to run from anyways. And take a look at that. We... We gone through the side of the building, only to come out through the front. Play this video game logic, so I can't ex complain at all, nor could I explain it. Anyways, heading to the next dungeon of the game. Alright, when you're ready for the next dungeon, just go right ahead and surf right down. Now, I'm going to say the way to get to this cave is actually similar to getting to the previous dungeon as I just showed you. Now, remember how I said that was the last trainer you're gonna face? I lied! There's one more trainer. And she's right over here. I came to get my mushroom Pokemon. Her mushroom Pokemon. She's referring to well, the only po mushroom Pokemon I can think of is Paras and Parasect. So let's go ahead and speed up the rest of this battle, shall we? Oh, my cute mushroom Pokemon! There might not be any more mushrooms here, I think I got them all. Yeah, well, mushrooms don't even come in until, like, Generation 3 or 4, which... When did mushrooms first appear? Anyways, right here is the Cerulean Cave. I must warn you, though, there... When they say there is a lot of powerful Pokemon, they were not kidding. So my advice is to have all your Pokemon healed up. And also a good idea to buy a bunch of max potions. And also a good idea to have your Master Ball. Why should you have your Master Ball? Well, you'll see when I get back to the cave. I'll see you there at the cave when... And at the point, I'm gonna end up speeding up throughout Cerulean Cave until we get to the very end. Also, remember to bring in a, at least one escape rope. Or else, you're going to hate yourself if you forget to bring in an escape rope, just saying. Anyways, I'll meet you right there, speeding up. Alright, just to review what items I have, not Pokemon, items. As you can see, I got the 9 full restores, just the leftovers from when I was battling the Elite Four. Also, make sure to have your Master Ball and plenty of Max Repels. You can grab any Pokeball, but preferably your Master Ball. I'm just gonna keep my Master Ball because, well, I'm cheap. Actually, if you are playing any generation higher than Generation 1, 
it's better not to use your master ball simply because there are a lot more different type of Pokemon that you can capture such as with the master ball, such as roaming Pokemon and shiny legendaries. But we have none of that in the original Pokemon games, so I'm gonna bring my master ball. Anyways, this is amongst the longest and well, it's not necessarily long, but it's damn well confusing, so let's just jump right in and speed up the video. Now, let me just tell you, 
Remember at the very first episode that I said that the maximum amount of Pokemon that I'm going to capture is 7 before the I am the Let's Play? Well, here it is, the 7th Pokemon. Now, guys, don't you remember Blaine and Mr. Fuji and Cinnabar Mansion? Remember that story? about you, who was forced to give birth to a monster, who has destroyed an entire mansion and has been left to escape. Nobody have known what has happened to it until now. Wild Mewtwo appeared. This is it, guys! This is the ultimate Pokemon, Mewtwo. The one from Cinnabar Gym. The one created by Blaine and Mr. Fuji. Possibly, but I think pretty likely. Now, let me tell you, it's going to have the move Recover, which is actually pretty smart AI as whenever it gets slow on HP, it's actually smart enough to use Recover appropriately. Which makes this a very unique wild Pokemon. I say better than some trainers. On top of that, it also has Barrier, which would guard it against physical moves, in other words, it raises its defense. And it also has the move Psychic, which it attacks pretty frequently. Now, I'm gonna be using the cheap way to battle this Pokemon simply because, well, I did pick up an Ultra Ball, but chances are it's not gonna do anything. Now, when you, usually once in a while, once you use a normal Pokeball right off the bat, it's going to say, oh man, it missed the Pokemon. Well, this is because Mewtwo is a very smart Pokemon in which it actually dodges Pokeballs. So, the be one way to capture it is to put it to sleep immediately. Or else you won't be able to catch it at all. Except with one method. Now, there's two, like I said, there's two methods of going about this. You can do it the normal way, in which you go ahead, put it to sleep, and try to weaken it. That way, it won't expand recover. The other time is the weak. Well, the other method, I mean, is the cheapest one. The Master Ball, given to us by Silphco in order to capture any Pokemon without fail. Guess what I'm doing, guys? <sighs> That's it. That's my seventh Pokeball. Seventh Pokemon. And this is my finale. Mewtwo was caught using the cheapest method ever. But I don't care. It would normally be considered cheap if you're using other generation, but when you're playing generation 1, you kind of deserve this. Mewtwo, the genetic Pokemon, entry number 150, height 6 feet 7 inches, well, actually, slightly taller than I am. It weighs 269 pounds. It was created by a scientist after years of horrific gene splicing and DNA engineering experiments. Hmm, probably turned vicious as a result. Do you want to give a nickname to Mewtwo? Well, guys, as I said, I'm gonna give a nickname to every single one of my Pokemon. Well, for my 7th, I say no. And it was transferred to Bill Spacey, that what happens when you have your party all filled up. 
And there we go. That was the finale of Pokemon. The true finale at that. So, next time, you guys get to see my next Let's Play coming out pretty soon. Until then, I XMRCH33F3X signing off this Let's Play. And I'll see you guys in my next Let's Play. Until then, see ya.